Hi guys, it's Nancy here and I'm back with another process video for you and this is using the Pink Paisley Cider Lane and I picked two pieces of paper from this collection one is this lovely ombre um, and the other is my least favourite paper um, I got in this kit which is this um, kind of script bit but I don't think the script's very clear um, I don't love it I was originally thinking of using the other side which was like a a green ombre but I decided to kind of persevere and see if I could um, make it work as I said I just I'm not sure it's I'm kind of so over the brush script trend really um, not that I was really ever on it um, I don't know not a fan um, so anyway I've just done what I always do, I got out a piece of paper and I used the um, bit that I got out to mount my photo and I just think that just adds some cohesion to the layout, it's something that I like to do um, and I do the majority of the time. I have done a couple of layouts recently where I haven't mounted my layout and I'm never sure if I like it um, but you know it's good to try some something different um, every so often. So, I am just going to be playing about this and I'm going to be using this purple and there was a time when I hated purple um, but I really love the purple in this collection and I've also got some of the Heidi Swap um, Wanderlust which has a purple in as well so I'm really excited to use that as well because I'm really loving that at the moment. I've also pulled a piece out from the Dear Lizzie documented collection there which also have some kind of um, purpley colours in, that's the hexagon piece of paper you saw there. So what I'm going to be doing is just adding some watercolours and this is just the Mr Huey watercolour set. I've had it for quite a while and I'm just going to be using that. You did see me just make some pencil marks um, around that because I wanted to make sure that I didn't cover it all up which is what I so often do. So I'm just going to be adding some purples and pinks and things around that um, to add some texture. I'm just using some water from a water brush there because um, I could be bothered to get up and go and get any water. So that's what I'm doing there. And I'm just going to be adding and building up some texture. Um, I do want to just say thank you um, everyone who kind of responded to my little mini rant in my last video. It wasn't really a rant, it was just me kind of talking about... Um, my YouTube channel and why I do it and you know kind of not that I feel those pressures but you know kind of how I don't really want any more from this channel than what I've got and I don't really want that to sound dismissive of um, you know my subscribers or anything like that um, I just enjoy creating um, videos um, I enjoy sharing my scrapbooking and I enjoy the you know the rapport and the relationships I build up with people through YouTube um, and then through Instagram and Facebook and things like that so that's really what I meant um, about that I did kind of listen back when I was editing bits and thought okay maybe I'm getting a little bit moany here but um, I appreciate that people took it kind of on the vein that I meant it so Back to layout, I am just taking the stamp set from the new Finders Keepers from Amy Tan and I'm just using some of the stamps here, so one of them is a heart and the other one says lovely. It's very faint, you can't really see it, but just, just add a little bit of interest and I wanted to bring some of the, um, the teal um, into it because I knew that there was teal within the um, the Lizzie piece of paper. So I'm just going through my inks here and seeing what I've got um, and I'm just going to be adding some more hearts in here and this is just a photo um, of me and my boyfriend so you know hearts and stuff kind of go okay and um, this is another photo from um, the American trip um, and this is just a picture of us um, in a restaurant on pier uh, <coughs> on the pier in um, San Fran having some a bite to eat so there's other photos and stories that can go with this but um, I do like to just scrap um, pictures of us so and it was quite a nice picture of us so I'm just going to ink all the edges and I believe I'm doing that in brown and so you see me do this many times I kind of roughly plan out where my layout is then I take it off and build up the background and then I ink my edges and start to actually build my layers up 
so I'm really kind of, you know, set in my process as such of how I work. Um, my layouts take me anywhere between kind of 40 minutes to kind of like an hour and a bit. To be honest, it depends on what else I'm doing. Normally I listen to podcasts um, or like an audio book while um, I'm doing scrapbooking. Um, I've got loads of podcasts that I'm into, so um, I normally kind of have a podcast on. So I'm just going to now be building up my layers. And you will see that I did chop that dear Lizzie paper up so I could just spread it over the layout. And as I said, I really love the purple. And then this, and there you can see that's just kind of making it look like I had more of that paper than I did. And again, this piece of paper as well. Um, even though I had a circle cut out, it just added a little bit more. So I'm just going through the other papers I've got here, and I really like this large floral, so I'm going to use some of that. Sorry guys, I thought I was going to sneeze there. Um, I've taken this, which is an off cut from another piece of paper to bring in some of the teal. And I'm just seeing if I can get uh, that to work. Um, and I was quite thrifty um, with this kit and kind of used, um, you know, used a fair bit. But as uh, this cedar lane collection, you know, it's lovely and I love this kind of big floral design. And I'm going to use quite a few of those florals in upcoming layouts. Um, and yeah, I've got a bit of a thing for florals. <laughs> So I did just cut the video out there so I could cut those out so you didn't have to um, watch that. And I'm then just taking um, my circle punch here and using some of the off cuts to add um, in some circles and that's just to add to these embellishment clusters. And again, I'm, I'm kind of falling more in love with circles at the moment. I used to avoid circles but would like doilies but I'm kind of liking circles to do my clusters on. And it helps that I have my circle punch out on my desk now, how I've got my desk set up. So those florals um, are nice muted colours, they also have sort of text print and things on. So I really like how they just add a little bit of interest um, to the design. And again I've just sort of tucked that under some of the layers. And I'm just using my wet glue to stick that down. And the way that I've arranged those florals again just brings the eye um, across this layout. So as you can see where I um, added that watercolour the paper has wrinkled a little bit which um, it always does um, but I'm kind of quite happy that and normally where I stick it down on the background paper it kind of just helps stabilise it a little bit. So I'm just going to be adding some gold mist over that and now I'm going to be working on adding some finer embellishments so I'm just going through the Cedar Lane embellishment pack. And as I said before, this is a lovely embellishment pack because it has glittered foil pieces, um, acetate pieces. So it's a really nice mix. And what I like to do is just go through and pull out all the things that I might think that might work. And then kind of try to add them in. Um, I really like that large gold foil tag but it didn't kind of work so I just cut the tag part off um, and made it just into a bold gold chevron <clears throat> and then there's these some more circular bits that I'm um, wanting to add and also within that die cut pack there is some like, little word pieces as well there was these pieces which again are very reminiscent of the pebbles Jen Hadfield um, sort of gold dip circles um, and I really like how they look. So I'm looking to add um, this one in as well. And I just want to cover those words up if I can. But I'm going to leave that little heart showing. Um, I'm quite happy with how that placement looked in the end. And as I said, I do love the gold um, within this. As well, um, this the gold and the dark wood grain especially... Um, I really love and that's something I'm kind of definitely going to run with so you may see a theme in some upcoming layouts um, again I really like the um, Heidi Swap Wonderlust um, collection and so I'm going to be using that in some upcoming projects and um, Paint on Magpie as well so I'm really excited to use that because 
yeah, the colours are actually really saturated and lovely. So I am going to be using this Alpha, which is the one that came with this collection. And it's a glitter, a lovely turquoise glitter, and it's in this nice skinny font. And so I'm just going to be sticking um, my title down here at the bottom. And so I did just use that, leave that little bit of paper there. <laughs> Apologise, you can see my um, Mohican crafting hat there. <laughs> I was, you know, I was just chilling in my pyjamas and and my hat that my friend Emma made me um, and not really realising that every so often you can see it so I want to just do another little subtitle so I'm just going to be looking through a little storage bag here of what alphas I've got and I do believe I end up bringing out a different turquoise sparkle from Heidi Swap, yep these ones here and I've had these in my stash for quite a while and I've used them quite a lot but you do kind of get an extra row of vowels which is um, really great so, um, so yeah, it's really great for you know using on lots of layouts. So I'm just going to call this one at Pier 39 Grub Stop um, because um, this kind of Grub Stop went well. Um, but I believe there was another restaurant we went to on Pier 39, which is where I ended up getting food poisoning. Um, so I'm going to be writing about that. But this was kind of like the place where, yeah, which was okay, and I didn't feel ill. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will do a little bit of journaling about that. I'm also just going to be putting the date here. Um, and I say I really love this glitter um, font as well. So again, just pulling out some other little bits I've got in my stash. And these are some little hearts, um, little puffy stickers, and they came from a UK store which is called Paper Chase. Um, so I did look at adding some sequins on here as well and seeing if um, I could get those to work so I'm just going to play about with their placement but decide nope I don't think they're going to work on this one so um, really I'm not going to add much more to this layout if anything maybe it'll be missed um, and then I'm going to mount it so that is it for this layout I hope you've enjoyed it um, I say thank you very much everyone who watches my videos and subscribe to my channel if you don't subscribe and you found me do click the subscribe um and welcome <laughs> so thank you very much guys and i'll speak to you very very soon bye